Welcome everybody to today's class. Today we're gonna talk a little bit about dynamic memory. So dynamic memory is best illustrated by, by an example. I will create a file called dynamic1.c and I will begin with the uh, header and just one include file and then our main function okay so if I would like to create a simple program uh, with one variable to store a name that we read from the user just using scanf then I would do something like this create a variable of the type char with a size of 32, for example. I would print out something like, what is your name? And then use the uh, scanf function to read that from the user, just like we did previously in another example. And finally, I will use that name in order to greet the user like this and then we quit so if we run this code and I will put in my last name and there I have the result okay nothing new here but what if we don't know that these 32 bytes would be enough perhaps we are reading in a couple of numbers from the user so what if the program asks the user how many numbers would you like to enter and then the program will loop and ask for numbers until we're done but then we would have to allocate a whole lot of memory because we don't know beforehand how many bytes of memory that's needed. That's one example of why we should use dynamic memory allocation instead of static. So this thing we have done here is an example of static memory allocation. We are specifically telling the compiler that we need 32 bytes of memory. But instead of doing it like this, we can create a pointer out of this variable. And then we use a function called malloc in order to allocate this memory. And it's quite easy to use, you just point the pointer towards the malloc function and then you specify one argument and that's the uh, number of bytes that you want to allocate then it will dynamically allocate 32 bytes of memory and then this works as before but on the end we free this memory allocation it's not always necessary to do this, especially not at the end of the program, because this will be freed when the program ex exits. But, but it's uh, a good uh, habit to always free the memory allocation as soon as you're done with it. Because if you don't, then after a while, if you have a big project, there will be a lot of memory allocated that you don't need, and it will use more memory than what's actually needed. All right, let's try this out. Okay, we get a, a lot of these implicit declarations, malloc and free. And it, it even gives us an example of or how to fix this. It says we should include this standard library.h and if we do man to 
Malok, I mean man 3 Malok, then we can see here that it's in the standard lib library. So we go back to our code and add that include file. And this time it crashes. Why does it crash? And that's because when we are using pointers and dynamic memory allocations, we can't use this form of scanf. <coughs> because what this actually means, this ampersand here in front of the var variable name, is that we are not sending in the value of this variable, we are sending in its address, its memory address. And that basically works just fine when using regular variables, but when using pointers like this, with a pointer that points to a specific memory allocation, then we get the address of this pointer instead. And we do want to get the value because the value is this memory allocation and that's where we want to scan it to. So remember this, when using pointers and when using dynamic memory allocations and scanf, remove the ampersand. Let's try it again. And this time it works. So this is a very basic example of uh, dynamic uh, memory allocation. We will get into a more real world-ish example later on. But hopefully you have learned the basics of it. That you create a pointer, you point that pointer towards malloc function and the only arg argument is how many bytes of memory do you need then malloc will create this allocation so it will create a space of memory and in here you can put whatever you like don't forget to free it up at the end of it and when using scanf together with a pointer and a dynamically allocated memory, remove the ampersand in front of the variable. Okay, thanks for watching and thanks for today.